Have you heard about uh, Corrupt FM's lost tape? It's a secret, isn't it? Have I heard about it? Yeah, of course I've heard about it. Everyone's talking about it. That tape in particular was just sheer brilliance, you know. Yeah. It was, it was golden. It's a thing of legend. It's almost like the Loch Ness Monster. Some people say they've heard it. Some people think they've heard it. I didn't even understand what it was I was listening to. Kept cutting out. Grinder said Grinder a lot. I've not heard anything apart from what you told me. I don't really remember it, but... No, but I mean, you, you do when I t explain it to you, do you know what Yeah, I mean? when you explain it yeah, to me, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I had it in an in a, in a old school sort of uh, tape cassette deck, and it kind of chewed it up before I could really get past like the first five seconds, but the first five seconds was really, really good. A lot of people say legendary quite a lot, but this is like... Legend. Legend. Legendary. Legendary. The stuff of legend. The stuff of legend. Yeah. It's like genius, you know. Legendary genius, you know, but legendary. If it is as legendary as it's claimed to be, then, um, hmm, hot a fire. Yeah, it sounds sick. I'd, I'd love to hear it. And number kicks and pack Do you know say the logo's gonna match And of course it's gonna be a fact That none of my clothes will ever clash A little bit of that blue cheflon What you got, Beats? Um, it's called uh, Gorilla Glue Gorilla Glue, yeah Yeah What you got there? You need to check this, man Where is it? It's like old school set from back in the day Oh, it stays, look You look different, <laughs> man <laughs> I've got the same hat <laughs> <laughs> Same as that hat. Yeah. Man, you're like a dickhead. <laughs> Ooh, that bar as well. Fire. Fucking hell. Yeah. I mean, that was sick back then. Yeah. That was still sick now, I say. Yeah, you, that yeah, of course. Sick, but don't just say yeah then, because you made it sound like I wasn't sick. But now. you know you're my favourite MC. Exactly. Oh, you got all the old fucking tapes here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Remember we used to record all the sets? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see that one? That's my graph on that tape, yeah? I spat. Um, it was like a thousand bar verse, yeah? You, you fucking one. fainted, didn't you? Know what I'm yeah. yeah, I can't yeah. count to a thousand. Mind blown by it, do you know what I mean? My knees just went. Did you hear Grinder's uh, thousand bar verse? Was, was, that a, was that a reality? Everyone talks about it in studio. Whenever I bring it up, they then talk about it with me. Me and Wiley talk about it to this day. A thousand bar verse. It's what inspired, like, the whole of East London to pick up mics. Mate, I was there. Were you there? Well, no, I wasn't there, but I mean, like, I felt like I was there when I heard it. I've never even bothered doing it again, do you know what I mean? Because I've done it, tick, tick the box, tick. Yeah. If you weren't there, you missed it, do you know well, what I mean? Why would you, like, why would you if do you, it? You'll never hear that, you'll never hear that, because them tapes are gone, like. I think I've got the tapes, you know? Nah, you haven't. Know they are. No, you haven't, you haven't got them, because tapes don't even last that long anyway, so even if you did, they, they're broken. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. post expiry yeah. day. Yeah, post expiry day. If you were there, good for you. If you weren't, do you know what I mean? Done. So would you say the tapes lost? I swear I know where the hell are, like. Nah, you don't, trust me. That's not to say it didn't happen, because it definitely happened, like. That obviously, I definitely spat a thousand bars and didn't take a breath. The legend is always the most powerful thing we have this day and age, so I'd rather keep it a myth. So, yeah, off to uh, my mum's to meet Steve, because she puts loads of uh, my old stuff in the attic that I think I've lost. So, apparently, the tape will be up there. Oh. Back in the old blazing spot, Steve. Uh, this is what actually got me into music in the first place. Uh, this is how we all started. Apart from Grindr, because he's in the choir. But, uh, yeah, and then we turned it into... We used to do, like, put zoots in all the holes. Eight zoots. And then just either end. Remember this? The old school set? Oh, stop, Steve. Stop. It's, uh, it's got all, like, all messages in it. Oh, this one. Stop calling me, please. Lisa. Oh, I remember Lisa. She loved it. She is well safe. She loved it. I used to just uh, call her up and scream at her, where are you? Who are you with? Constantly. She loved it. Looks like it's got piss on it. Oh, is that? I think it is piss. It's not piss, Steve. It smells like piss. Is that when you said about all the boys held you down? And... Yeah, just not now, Steve. Babes, what? Look at this. It's a pillow in a box. Mum! I found a TV remote. Also, why is the carpet so itchy? 
Steve's got a rash. Also, what's Vagisil? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Steve's got dry hands. Don't use that, Steve. Don't use it. Nah. Oh. Well, I grew up like with pirate radio, do you know what I mean? Like recording the tapes, listening back to the tapes, like my favourite DJs, MCs, like garage music coming in, do you know what I mean? It was all a beautiful time. Like a mixtape is saying you're here and you'll always remember where you were, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which chick I was texting at the time, what drawer I was blazing. I had like an old sort of a cassette player. If you didn't have an actual aerial, you used to have to get a, a hanger. The metal ones, you could bend them up. Stick it in the um, the aerial port. There was no internet then. It was the only way you could hear what was happening. The guys that were doing that were the guys that were like the distributors, because then they would go school. I got I got that set recorded. Ah, oh, copy me one, copy, and then that's how it spread it. Like my first tape pack memory would be like getting into a girl's car after a rave, yeah, mm. and we're driving along, and I was just like, I've got to have this tape. And I think that's how a lot of tapes got circular. You know, you'd be in a car, oh, let me borrow that, I'll give me back to you, I'll give me back to you, of course I will. And you take that, that's now your tape. If you had a double tape, now you're in the, the business where you can duplicate the tape and send it on to your friend, you know what I mean? Now they've got a rather more hissy, not quite as quality version that they're passing around. Ah. Ah. Got like none here in there. Bruh. Spestos. What? He's bearing it. What do you mean? Yeah. Do you know what it looks like? Uh, no, but I know what it sounds like. Corrupt mix. They all sort of say the same thing. Decoy, bash it off. That's the name of his bashment set. Classic. The Cole Tough Enough Brown recording from Sun City 1996 with PSG and Creed on it is like literally one of the most, for me, iconic DJ sets I've ever listened to. A lot of Dream Team, Ronnie Size had big tunes, and Shy FX was the guy. Soul Solid Sundays, back in 03. EZ, Sparks and Kite. When I used to go to the barbers, the, the latest tape would be in the set, yeah, and our whole shop would just be raving. Kano, um, Storming. Gets at the time, D double E. Ooh, ooh. We didn't even know what that meant or what it was, but we just done it. I used to have the uh, Pay As You Go Heartless Clash that was in uh, Destiny's Watford. Good choice, good choice. That was a good tape, yeah. yeah. I feel like the culture needed it. Yeah. A bit like our tape. Exactly. In some way. I mean, back in the day, I used to sell mixtapes. You know, your body mixtapes. It'll be a mix between Bhangra, it'll be a bit of garage, a bit of hip hop. You know what I mean? I'll make the art cover myself on Microsoft Paint. This is called Spandoff B Ballet. <coughs> Who's that? Don't know, must have been like a guest MC or something. It's one of the KNFM boys. I'd say we've got about 45, 50 tapes here. That's 90 minutes per tape. Uh, oh, how long is that going to take? Probably about three hours or so? Yeah. Easy. Got all the old tapes from my mum's house. What? Right. Gonna find the set. What do you mean you fucking. I didn't tell you to go and find the set. Like, what are you doing? Why are you. Yeah, but. These lot. Oh, why is he, Why do you. I didn't realise they're filming. They, they got a mic on you? Yeah. I think. Sick. <laughs> We found, so we found a set, but we're not going to be able to bloody listen to it because we haven't got time tonight. No, Steve's, Steve's going to do it all night. He's got his uh, walk and everything ready. Well, that's... I don't want that on because we've got... I think it's that one, is yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, God, it looks like it's broken. I'll probably put it in this red bin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't. Don't, because... Yeah, but I'm just that saying. That might be the set. <laughs> come, let's go. Ah, uh, bait. Let's fucking come here. Let me hold that for you. Steve, you get the tape player. Yeah. Uh, Decoy, got the tape. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Way too many tapes, though. Have you got tape players, though? we'll go through them. Oh, uh, yeah. Can't wait to find the tape. Uh, I want to do this for you. Uh, it's nothing. Thanks, man. Do you know what? Just leave it. Just. It's, no, honestly, no, we can. Yeah. All right. I know it so on, well. Do I'll do it for you, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to worry about it. Thing is, it's the lost tape, do you know what I mean? It's not like the documentary is called I Found a Tape. Appreciate the stories around it. You lot know the legend, so don't try and always dig around, do you know what I mean? On some fucking detective shit and that, yeah? Lovely grainy texture, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing with the tapes, is the lack of quality. I just don't, I don't even know if people are ready for it. it like, literally, like, their hi fis wouldn't have the tape player now. Your grind is right, you know. We're not going to find it. 
It was nothing I'd heard before. And I didn't know it was even called pirate radio. It was just radio. And I think that's why I liked it so much. We was just listening and vibing. When pirate came along, it changed that kind of pause button pushing recording you, that we all used to do yeah. where you'd just be sat at the thing and waiting for the guy to talk you just get the first and that was <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is the <laughs> do you know what I mean? cut to the next tune yeah. but with Pirate because they're constantly commentating on what's going on you couldn't do that so then that's where I think you ended up with these long yeah. hour long sets yeah. or two hour long sets because yeah. it's impossible to just pick your tunes out the dialogue was part of the music as well right? you want to hear inside for me, what I loved about it, as legal as it was, it was that revolution in terms of just people being able to say, we want to play what the streets want, as opposed to kind of having to go through so many different channels to get your music played. It was just like, what, you got a hot 16 bars? Come bring it, let's go. Mum, can you give me a lift to radio? We've got no number to get you through the side. You need to corrupt FM on the way nine. I found a tape. What? Sick. I found it. You, you, you said you couldn't find it. It's definitely it as well. It doesn't... I couldn't find a thousand you... bar verse, but... Sick. Yeah? Here. You know what? Yeah. Let me look at that. Uh, I can't believe you found it. Sick, innit? Yeah. I bet you're yeah. over the moon. Yeah. Should we put it uh, on? Let's put it on. Yeah, let's boys, put it on. Let's put it on now. Boys, yeah. boys, boys, stop. You see this? This is more power than it's worth. This is like the atomic bomb. What would you do if you had that power in your hand? Play you, it. You destroy it. Destroy it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want like the whole scene to be like, do you know what I mean? To have the backlash of this, like, like I reckon it's just like, it's just better we lay this to rest. Shh. Don't say anymore. I've made a decision, all right? It's for the best. Let's go spread the ashes. Ashes. What? We're setting on fire. I think like if that tape was to sort of surface now, it would literally flip the industry on its head again, and we'd go from doing headstands to standing up again. They come out with it and say they found it. I think everyone's gonna go mad. I think a lot of MCs are gonna retire. But well, I'll, I'll put the mic down. That's for certain. I mean, I haven't picked the mic up, but I've never picked the I'll mic up. It. No, but I mean, I'll, I'll put it down. Art isn't often appreciated at the time. You're right. Van, Van Gogh, Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. Like, nobody gave a fuck about Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. See this? This is my city. This is what made me, and it made this. And it's now time to return this to its rightful owner. So I would hope the greatest to ever do it <laughs> would, would live to see the effect that they've had on people like me. The legend is always better than the reality. Are you gonna get it if you're in the moment? You know? Do you know what I mean? The legacy is worth more than any little bit of plastic or whatever. It took me two days to find that. It's for the best, mate. Come on. Let's go. Should I build it? Yeah. Come, I'll buy you the legends. Okay. Can I get the Inferno burger with the hash brown? Yeah. Thanks. No sauce, though. Yeah, dry. That's what I'm saying, mate. Yeah. Now I've got 300 boxes of it. Yeah, no, it's all fake, but you know, I'm going to flog it. Hold on, mate. Let me call you back. <laughs> the lost tape coming soon. No, I don't really like talking to people, really. Yeah, thanks. Cheers, mate. That's brilliant. Cheers. There's an Uber outside for you now, if you want to... Hang on.